For over a decade, the advice has been simple. New to Linux, just use Ubuntu. I think that advice might finally be dead. Yeah, there's a new king of Linux distros. Ubuntu and Zorin OS are the most capable Linux distros right now, but Zorin OS is playing a completely different game. I've been playing around with both Ubuntu and Zorin OS and testing the interface, checking out the app ecosystem, and Zorin, it definitely feels like a premium upgrade. And in this video, I'm giving you 5 key reasons that give Zorin OS the edge in this distro war. We are talking about a user interface that gives you multiple layouts and adapts to you, not the other way around. It supports Windows apps and games out of the box. Yeah, Zorin OS 18 is making a massive statement and maybe it'll end up being your next daily driver. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Let's start with reason number 5 and honestly, this is the first thing that hits you when you boot up the machine. It's this chameleon UI. When you install Ubuntu 25.10, you get GNOME 49. Now don't get me wrong, GNOME 49 is sleek, it's modern and with the new Yaru theme and this side panel, it looks cleaner than ever. Especially this side dock, which you actually don't get in the stock GNOME. This is a massive plus point for productivity. This is cool and all, but, and this is a big but, Zorin OS 18 just kills it in this department. Zorin OS 18 takes a completely different approach. It's built on the philosophy of adaptive familiarity. Out of the box, it doesn't look like any other Linux distro. It mimics the Windows 10 and 11 look and workflow to near perfection. You get a taskbar at the bottom, a start menu on the left, and a system tray on the right. If you are switching from Windows to Linux, this is a huge advantage. It respects your muscle memory. I have said it before and I'll say it again. The Windows 7 bottom taskbar layout with a simple menu is one of the best desktop user interfaces out there. I mean, you press the super button on Ubuntu's GNOME desktop and all your windows go flying and you get a full screen app menu that looks like Candy Crush. It breaks your focus and workflow. Yeah, I am going to be blunt here. The traditional desktop environment of Zorin OS, it doesn't break your flow when you're working. It's a productivity powerhouse that just gets out of your way. App switching is easy, the menu is straightforward. And let's talk about the polish. The whole thing feels so premium. This is actually an upgrade over Windows 11. But that's not all. With Zorin Appearance app, you can one-click switch between many different desktop layouts. Want the centered apps of Chrome OS? Click. Want the clean list menu of Linux Mint or Windows 7? Click. Want the dock and top bar of Mac OS? It's there. If you prefer the standard GNOME form, you get that here as well. Ubuntu and most other distros force you to install extensions and tweak settings for hours to get this level of customization. Zorin hands it to you on a silver platter. It feels organic, premium and frankly, it looks stunning. I really appreciate how Zorin OS adapts to be familiar and usable to you no matter what your UI preferences are. If you're coming from Windows background, this just makes the switch massively easier for you. But if you think that's cool, wait until you see the number 4 reason. And this one is a total game changer for anyone who has a folder full of .exe files that they just need. People who rely on Windows apps and games. Zorin OS 18 lets you install Windows apps and games out of the box. Yeah, it's got Windows app support ready to go. And it handles this with a level of polish that's just mind-blowing. When you download and try to open a Windows executable, the OS performs a smart background check against a curated database. If there's a Linux native version of that app, say you are trying to install Spotify or Discord, Zorin actually pauses the installation and tells you, hey, there's a better native version of this app, do you want to install that instead? It stops you from running a suboptimal Windows version. That is just insane. And this works for a huge number of apps, no matter where that app is available natively on Linux, Snap, Flatpak or .deb repositories. Zorin automatically installs that if you choose to. And many of the apps that you install might have web versions and Zorin OS nudges you to use those if a native Linux version is not available. I mean, tell me, can it get any more cooler? And if you do need to run that Windows app, Zorin OS 18 has integrated the landmark Wine 10 release right into the core. This isn't just basic compatibility. Wine 10 brings massive improvements to DirectX 12 translations via VKD 3D. That means modern Windows apps and games run smoother with better scaling on high-res monitors and less lag. Seriously, I install many of my games this way and sometimes I forget I'm playing Windows games on Linux. It's that polished on Zorin OS. This is a big deal. There are hundreds of Linux distros and no other Linux distro even comes close to what Zorin OS has achieved in terms of Windows app compatibility. Again, for people coming from Windows, this just makes life that much simpler. 
Of course, not all Windows apps and games work this way, so your mileage may vary, but most apps do. Even with the Windows app support that we just talked about, there are many apps like ChatGPT that I just use in a browser on Linux. We all know the struggle. You switch to Linux and suddenly you realize there's no native Adobe Photoshop, there's no Microsoft Office. On Ubuntu, your solution is usually just open Firefox and pin a tab. It works but it feels cheap. It feels like a workaround. Zorin OS 18 introduces a dedicated native web apps tool that changes the game completely. This tool lets you take any website, ChatGPT, Gemini, Google Docs, Google Drive, Photoshop Web, Office 365, Microsoft Teams, and wrap it into a standalone native feeling application container. These aren't just browser tabs, they get their own window, they get their own icon in the taskbar and the start menu, they show up in the Alt plus tab switcher just like any other program. To your brain, Photoshop web behaves exactly like Photoshop CS used to. I absolutely love this. Actually, most of my work happens on websites and web apps today and having an option to launch them in their own windows, treat them as native apps. You know, it brings a sense of organization and just that ability to quickly launch a Google Doc, it makes everything feel seamless. Then here's the cool thing, privacy. Zorin isolates these web apps. If you create a web app for Facebook or Instagram, it is sandboxed away from the cookies and browsing history of your main Firefox instance. This just keeps getting better and better, right? I want you to notice the thoughtfulness and the level of detail that Zorin developers have paid to everything. By the way, if you haven't already, check out my course Linux Mastery Express. I've designed this course to level up your Linux skills very quickly. With this course, you'll get so comfortable using the terminal commands that your friends will think you're a Linux wizard. You'll get perfect with the most used, most useful commands and also learn advanced things like using the vEditor and shell scripting as well. Linux Mastery Express, link in the description, do check it out. At reason number 2, we have Zorin Connect and this is so underrated. This feature is absolutely crucial in providing an integrated experience out of all your devices. On Ubuntu 25.10, if you want smartphone integration, you're usually hunting down GNOME extensions like GS Connect, hoping they don't break with the next update. It's doable, I actually use it, but it is a friction point. Zorin OS 18 comes with the amazing Zorin Connect pre-installed and pre-configured. Based on the solid KD Connect protocol, this tool deeply integrates your Android phone with your desktop from day one. With this tool, you pair your Android phone with your Zorin OS desktop and you can do things like wirelessly share your files and folders quickly. But we are not stopping there. We are talking about a unified clipboard. Copy text on your phone, paste it on your desktop. We are talking about using your phone screen as a remote trackpad or keyboard for your media center PC. You can see your SMS messages and reply to them right from your desktop. The best part, it is completely private. Unlike Microsoft's phone link which routes your data through cloud servers, Zorin Connect works entirely over your local encrypted network. Your photos and texts never leave your Wi-Fi. For a new user coming from Windows, this level of integration usually feels like magic. It makes the computer feel like a modern connected hub rather than an isolated device. It turns your PC and your phone into a single cohesive unit and it does it without you needing to be a system administrator to set it up. And finally, on number one, we have something that sounds small but is the absolute king of daily productivity, visual window tiling. If you're coming from Windows 10 or 11, you have decades of muscle memory built up. You drag a window to the side, it snaps and you keep working. Ubuntu 25.10 has actually improved its styling in GNOME 49, sure, and it's fairly simple to use. Drag and drop an application window to screen border and it'll automatically ask you which running application you want tiled in the empty space. Cool and it works. Zorin OS 18 brings something even more powerful and I love it. With Zorin OS 18, they have completely revamped the tiling feature. Drag any running application to the top of the screen and you immediately get a tiling pop-up with multiple options, splits, quarters, columns, just drop the window in one and you can see that application is perfectly tiled. Here's why this is crucial. Tiling windows can be non-intuitive to many people and complicating things with advanced mechanisms and obscure keyboard shortcuts can and has led to many people not using tiling at all. Zorin OS makes the whole thing so visual. Just hold any running window and drag it to the top border of the screen and you can intuitively see what options you get and how the whole thing is going to work. This invites you to use tiling more. You can also customize these layouts and even use keyboard shortcuts. So once you actually get used to using tiling on Zorin OS, you can speed things up. 
I'm a huge styling guy and at any given time I have 5, 6 apps and websites running. Although I generally just use 2 windows at a time, simple tiling, I still understand the speed and organizational benefits that tiling can bring. So yeah, Zorin OS handles this thing in a very smooth way. So here's the honest truth. When I first booted into Zorin OS 18, the feeling I had was genuine excitement. It felt familiar and it felt premium. Now don't get me wrong, I actually really love Ubuntu 25.10. It is a fantastic OS and the reality is it's not that Zorin OS does just one single thing so massively better that it overshadows Ubuntu. It is that Zorin OS does many little things slightly better. It's the way the windows snap, it's the smart logic behind windows app support, it's the visual polish of the menus. When you add up all these little victories, they stack up. They transform the experience from just an operating system into a product that feels incredibly refined. If my best friend came to me today and asked, hey, what Linux distro should I install? I wouldn't hesitate. I would just tell them to go for Zorin OS. Is it a total blowout? No. Ubuntu and Linux Mint are a very close second. They're not far behind, but Zorin OS has that extra 10% of polish that makes all the difference. So is Zorin OS 18 the new king of beginner Linux distros? Absolutely. I'm very confident in saying that. It is the gold standard for 2025 and 2026. But hey, that's just what I think. I want to hear from you. Do you agree that Zorin OS has taken the crown or is Ubuntu still looking for you? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Alright, if you found this video useful, if you enjoyed it, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and also leave me a big thumbs up. And if you're interested in leveling up your Linux skills, the link to my course Linux Mastery Express is given in the description below. It's designed to teach you Linux and take you from zero to hero in the shortest time possible. You'll be using Linux like a pro within a matter of hours, so definitely check that out. Next up, check out the top 15 hottest hacks that will supercharge your Linux desktop's performance to the next level and truly unlock your Linux. It's got some really cool tweaks, so definitely don't miss that. Alright, this is Linux Techs, signing out.